where the, this is a retreat for the priest of the parish. We use here for meditation. As you can see, this is Shagam, very far from the city center. I brought you here to keep you away from anything that will be reminding you of your recent events in your life. It will help in your healing process. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. This is the word of God. Read it, meditate on it every time. It will heal you. It will comfort your soul, my dear. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Thank you so much for all your kind words. I'm grateful. But, please, Father, pray for me before you go. Thank you. You know. Thank you. There is nothing like a hopeless situation before God. If God could raise Lazarus from the dead after four days, how much more you who is still breathing? The Bible says that with faith, we can move mountains. This illness of yours is your own mountain. Why don't you have faith, believe in God, and bring your hand. Let's move this mountain of yours together with prayers of faith. Okay? Father, we bless and we worship your name. We give you all glory and honor, adoration, praises, thanks, dominion. Father, because you're the King of kings, you're the Lord of lords, you're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So, my dear, how have you been faring for the past two weeks? Better than I expected. As I told you on phone, Father, I now spend my time in hospitals, destitute homes, and prison yards. My God, Father, you will not believe it. But spending time with the sick and people in these places, my God, it's so fulfilling. It's so inspiring. I mean, it makes me believe in life once again. It's like magic. That's good. You see, my dear, the dead are not just those who no longer breathe, but also those who have lost their hope and faith. God is not yet true with you. Amen. So don't give up on him. And don't give up on me too. <laughs> Always remember the ways of your dying grandmother. It's very important. I could never forget that, Father. That's good. Besides, you promised to go to Henry's house to speak with his parents on my behalf. Have you? I tried to, but they refused to see me. Do you still pray for them as I told you? Yes, Father. I owe them my prayers till the day I die. Oh, that's good. You're a wonderful girl. Thank you. God bless. Amen. Thank you, Father.
Yes, Auntie. I will always be praying for you. Hmm? God will soon lead you to your destined wife. Amen. And when he does, you will experience real joy and love. Now promise me that when you find your wife, you will call and tell me. Yes. Um, I'll let you know once I find her. <laughs> that I can promise you. I know you will keep your promise. I know. Um, please. He needs your guidance, prayers, and encouragement. The worst is far behind us. Mm. Hmm? It's laughter all through henceforth. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care of yourself, eh? Sunny. Sir. You are driving, madam, all the way home in Abia State. So drive very carefully, eh? Okay. Yes, about it until our people come? Yes. We don't have our match in our blood bank. Not, not. Can I see her? No, it's a horrible sight. I can't let her into the room. No, you never can tell. A little prayer might save her life. Please. Okay. But you have to make it brief. I'll make it brief. Very brief. horrible sight. She was very lucky to get here alive. Her driver died on the spot. Oh, pray for her if you can stand the sight. No, sir. Please, I beg you. I beg you in God's name. Take me to your lab. Check my blood. If it matches, please, so all you can save her life. Do you know her? No, sir, there's no time for all this stuff. Please, just take me to your lab. Check my blood. If it matches, just help me save her life. Please, I beg you. Okay, please. I'm, I'm, can they move her from this world? To the executive board. I'll pay. I'll pay for everything. No To the accident victim. I have screened her blood and it matches that of the woman's blood type. And who is that lady? I don't know her doctor, but she comes here often to pray for the patients. Doctor, please take my blood and save the woman's life, please. What is her name? Doctor, every minute we stand here talking draws her nearer to her grave. Please. Take my blood, save her life, and then you can ask me all the questions later. Please, sir. Please. Okay. Rose! Rose, darling! Let's just see her. 
Oh, Madam, please, pull yourself together. No, she's unconscious. And she may remain in this condition, as you can see, for many weeks. What? what? Yes. But I will show you that the worst is over for her. Thank you, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you, Doctor. Um, you were saying something about uh, blood. Yes, yes, yes. Um, how did, did you get the one you're giving her? A kind lady donated her blood. In fact, she could not stand after we had taken six pints of blood from her. Oh, six, six pints? pints? God, where is this lady? Because I think she deserves to be rewarded handsomely. You see, doctor, this lady, this lady is my sister-in-law. My sister. My wife's sister. sister. This lady my sister. saved my son from destruction only recently. You can see she means the world to us. And anyone who can make such a sacrifice deserves more than a thank you. I'm sorry, Chief. We had no data on her. What? See, not that we did not try. But she was filled with such intense pity for the woman that she refused to tell us anything until she's sure that the woman survived. Anyway, before we could come out from the theater, she had already left. Just like that? Why would she do that? You know, Rose has always had this strong faith in God. So when it mattered most, he did send one to save her. Doctor, please, if you ever see her again, please tell her that I would like to see her. No, we would like to see her. People like her are rare. We would like to see her in person. I think she needs more blood. The doctor doesn't think so. Even if she does, it will be very dangerous for you to donate more blood. At least for the next one month. I'm willing to dry up every single drop of blood I have in my body for her. I'm willing to give up my life for her to live. Why are you so attached to a stranger, sister? What's your name, please? My name doesn't matter, nurse. Can I have some minutes with her alone, please? Okay. Five minutes. I don't know if you can hear me. But please, I'm not a witch, and nothing I touch dies. I'm very harmless. What happened between your son and I was an accident. I could never have killed him intentionally. Only God knows how it happened. And I'm really sorry for your pains. I am. Please forgive me. I really do hope you get better soon. I... I have a note here for you. Please get better. 
God bless you. That lady had donated blood to the patient. She has gone, sir. She has gone? The tell coming to see me in my office as I requested. Oh, she told me I wanted to see her, but that she couldn't make it coming to your office again. Without saying who she is? Yes, sir. Doctor, did you tell her what I asked you to tell her? Yes, sir. And she still left without letting you know who she is. <sighs> what kind of a lady is this? Well, she said she didn't do what she did to be praised, but for a personal reason and for God. <sighs> she dropped this note. Please, if there had been an option in his case, as in yours, I would have given my life to save him. I swear, I would. Nurse, she left this note? Yes, sir. It doesn't make sense. I can't make meaning of this. Dad, she didn't even sign her name. Doctor. I must meet this lady. And I mean, at all costs. I will tell her when she comes again. Good. How is my uh, sister in law? Rose. It's getting better. Yes. It's too early to start rejoicing. Rose. Get well. After reading the note you dropped, they were almost pleading to meet you. Why don't you want to meet them? Doctor, because the woman is still unconscious. And I think it's too early to begin to thank those involved in saving her life. Okay. And what of your name? My name. My name doesn't matter now. What matters is the woman. So please tell me, what's the latest on her? Well, she's been very fine. But it's too early to start rejoicing. I know. I understand. Doctor, please, promise me. Promise me you'll go an extra mile, if necessary, to save her life. It's my job and my duty. Just promise me. Hmm. I promise. Thank you. I should leave you now. first, as a family at least, before you come and see the doctor? Danny, please! 
Let's see her first, please. All right, okay. Let's go. See what I'm saying? What? Another note? Again? Guilt is a very bad feeling, especially when no one understands you. Save me from this ugly feeling by surviving this, please. I pray for you all the time. Who is this lady, for God's sake? I don't know. S sounds like s some sort of an angel. Angel talking about guilt? Well, she has to be a human being. Well, a human definitely, but some human with the heart of an angel. Well, whoever she is, May God bless her abundantly. I came to pray with you before I break my fast. I've been fasting for six days now. And nothing will make me happier than to break it with you. Let me pray with you before I break it. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the opportunity of saving a life. Even though, unfortunately, one got lost by my mistake. Lord, please, I beg you to put a smile on my face by helping her regain consciousness. Help her forget the pain that made her pass through. I've been praying for you. So how do you feel now? I have never felt this relieved in the last 10 years, Father. That's wonderful. <laughs> you sounded like God himself has spoken to you. In more than just words, Father. In more than just words. It's... <sighs> Truly, he answers prayer. Yes, he does. I don't want to ask you how. But all I want to say is, may his name be praised forever for raising your spirit once again. Forever and ever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mama I'm, so. I'm here, and I'm still begging for your forgiveness. I never intended to kill your son. I want to tell you my own side of the story. Your son intended to have sex with me, not out of love, but out of lust. He was determined to do anything, even if killing me in the process. He was already strangling my neck. Unfortunately, what I did took his life. And I'm sorry. From my heart, I'm sorry. I know that. I know that the blood I donated to you can never be a replacement for your son. But I want you to do me just one favor. Just one thing. One thing that will comfort my heart is for you to forgive me. I never intended to cause you any pain, cause you any sorrow. And if you ever come out of this coma, please, Please. Please forgive me. Nice. 
Um, I was meaning to ask. Please, nurse. When she comes out of the coma, can you please call me? Please. I can give you my number. That's if you promise not to give it to anyone. Even the doctor. I promise. Promise. Yeah. Thank you. My heart never stopped bleeding for him and for you. I wish it never happened. But sadly, it did. Doctor. This is the eighth note the mystery lady has dropped within the past 10 days and it is very worrying doctor because we can't make head and tail of it nobody understands what she's trying to communicate well, my auntie's condition is not a headache right now these notes are because it's indulged the mind and the soul of the entire family doctor please to meet this lady honestly if there's something I can do to make you meet this lady, I will do so right now. Maybe you better wait here so that you meet her since she comes here from time to time. Doctor, you don't understand. My auntie's condition has devastated my parents. The house, the office cannot function without me being there. So waiting around here is a luxury I cannot afford to indulge in. Looking at my circumstances. Thank you so very much. Thank you. I'm coming there right now. Just give me five minutes. Yes, let me just quickly change my dress. I'm coming there right now. Thank you, Nos. Thank, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Dana Rock of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did she relapse? She was in pain and uncomfortable when she came out of coma. The doctor gave her an injection to sleep. She's all right now. Very well. Um, please, can I have a moment with her? It's okay, but make it snappy. Thank you. It's over. Your pain might touch her. Thank you for recovering to relieve me once and for all. I'm grateful. I know that. I know I've caused you so much pain and, and sorrow, loneliness. And tears? I've cried myself. But what I have in this file is everything I'm worth. And everything I have, I've given it to you. I'm giving it to you because I'm really sorry. And I still want you to forgive me. A letter in the envelope inside this file will explain everything better. I'm really not a witch. And all I touch don't die. Please, please, even in my absence, comfort the soul and forgive me. 
Thank you. And goodbye. Left a note. Mom, we drove her to her death. She's gonna harm herself! Father, Father, this is Henry. Wow, Henry! Oh, wonderful remembering us again. How? Father, there is trouble. Amarach is going to kill herself. She's going to kill herself. How, Henry? How do you mean? Father, I saw her suicide note. Where and how did you see the suicide note? In the hospital in Shagamu, just a while ago. Father. I'm trying to call her, but there is no way I can reach her because her line is not going through. Is there a number you know I can call her on? I'm trying to locate her, but she must not die. She doesn't deserve to die. You know what? Just come down. Let me call her number. I'll call you back. Yes, I'll call you back. Just come down. Okay, please. I'm waiting. Please call me. Thank you. Why did you switch? 
your wine off. Hello, Dan. Have you found her? Not yet. I'm still trying to locate her. Henry, find that girl. Don't let anything happen to her. Dad, I will never, I will never let her die. I love her too much to watch her die. Dad? Harry, it's not your dad, it's me. Oh, Mom. Yes, it's me. Please find that girl. Rose woke up as you were leaving, and she confessed that she was consumed by hate and grief. That made her say all the things she said about Amarachi. Oh, my God. That girl is your wife. Please, find her. Save her, please. Yes, Mom, I will. I will find her. I can promise you that I'll find her. Bye. Where are you? been trying your number and it was busy. Okay, you know what now? Go straight to number five at Derby Street. Ashaka Mother, yes, yes. She has been seen there for past two weeks and I believe, oh, by God's grace, she's still going to be there. She's still going to be there. Just go there. Yes. Please make sure she doesn't harm herself. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Move this car, move this car. Henry. Stop. Yes, sir. Yes, son. Hello, Dad. Dad, I, I found her. I got the address from the father. It's here in Chagamu. Number five, Adirabi Street. I'm on my way straight away. Go to the address. I hope you find her there. Your mommy and I are on our way. I'll see you then. Bye. Danny, has he found her? The Reverend Father has just given him an address of where she might be. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Yeah, Don't go. Stay. 